Hey guys, this is Ian from Entrepreneur Anywhere. I wanted to show you guys something that um, I've been trying to figure out for a while. I don't know why there's any, uh, there are no good resources uh, for this. At least I couldn't find any solid ones about this. Uh, and that's recording a Skype call for a podcast on uh, separate tracks simultaneously as you're recording. Now you can record, there are different softwares that you can use to record your Skype call, but um, I was trying to find a way to record a Skype call at the same time that you record on so I could separate the tracks from my uh, the person I'm interviewing and the host as opposed to being all on one track. So if there's any uh, things you want to uh, bring up the volume in, um, you'll have it separated uh, for the mix. So um, now I want to just uh, let you know that this is for Mac. I'm, I don't know if there is a way to do this on a PC. I, I, I assume there is. I just don't know what it is. And this is done, I'm doing this with Adobe Audition, which is my my recording, my audio recording software of choice. You can also do this on GarageBand, uh, the free software that comes with Macs. And um, I'm, I believe you can, I'm sure you can do this with Logic as well or any other uh, software you want to use uh, to record your audio. So um, now this is, th the cool thing about it is that it's, uh, there's free software that you download that will allow you to do this. And uh, so it doesn't cost you more except for the price of the software you're using. Like I said, GarageBand is free, so uh, no big deal there. So um, without further ado, let me show you what you need uh, to get started. So first, let's look at the software. Um, the software that you're going to need uh, is the first one is by Rogue uh, Amoeba, and uh, it's called Line In. And now Line In is a software that allows your... Uh, allows to monitor the audio that's coming in to your computer. So you plug a mic in, this is a device that will allow you to actually monitor that, that audio without having a separate program. And, um, and the old Mac used to do this. The old Mac OS used to have this automatically uh, as part of the hardware. Uh, now you have to use a software to do that separately. And the other one is called Soundflower. Soundflower is the audio routing utility uh, by Cycling74. Again, I'll have that link below. And this allows you to, to, to uh, route that audio that you just brought in to the, uh, to the application of choice, uh, such as Adobe Audition, what we're going to be using it for. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. And a uh, couple of things. Okay, when you, load, um, when you load in Soundflower, Soundflower actually loads in the background, so it shows up in the menu up here. And I believe by default, everything is off, so, and you should leave it that way. There's nothing you have to really set in here. So um, you, you'll find that it has uh, two different settings, one for Soundflower channel, two for two channeling, uh, two channels, and one Soundflower 64 for multi-channels, which is what we'll be using. Um, and you want to make sure that the Soundflower multi-channel first is set to none, and that it, uh, all of the channels, the first four channels at least, are all set to none which I believe is defaulted, so it shouldn't be a problem because we're going to be using these four, channel, four channels to, in stereo pairs. So one and two will be stereo and three and four will be stereo. All right. Uh, let's make sure I didn't do that there. Okay, so next we want to look at uh, the program. This the other program that we loaded was in line in. Line in is where it's routing my audio right now. And um, you want to make sure that your input is set to the input of your mic input, whatever that may be. Maybe you're, you're, listening to a, you're using a USB microphone. Um, I happen to be using a FireWire device, and my microphone is attached to that. So that's where my input is going through. But whatever device you're using for your sound input, it may just be the, in, the, the input uh, uh, mic of your computer. And then you also want to set your output to Soundflower 64. Now, I'll show you what it looks like, but if I hit this pass-through, or when I hit this pass-through button, you will not be able to hear my audio, so I'm just going to have to show it to you uh, without audio. Okay, here we go. So I was just showing you which, out, which, which each one, what they were set to, how, how to set them. There's one other area that you need to set. It's called Advanced, and that's where you actually assign the channels that we'll be using. And so let me show you that real quick without audio.
So what I was showing you was the channels that we were setting. The first, the first two were for the output, and you want to set those to uh, default uh, because that will automatically assign them to channels one and two. And the second one uh, was the input, which we set to channels three and four. Okay, so uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you. So let's go ahead and shrink this down. We won't need that anymore. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, although mine is set, make sure yours won't be automatically. Make sure you set this to pass through, so your audio will pass through to that uh, to your device or to your software that you're going to use. Otherwise, you won't hear anything. Um, another thing we need to set is your system preferences. There's two areas of system preference we need to set up. One falls under system preferences and you're going to go to sound and you want to make sure that is set to your your output is set to uh, the whatever speakers you happen to be using internal speakers or whatever device is connected uh, to your uh, computer that's uh, where you're getting your output sound from. Also remember that when you're recording to bring your volume down up here uh, so that you're not getting a continuous feedback loop when you're recording. And your input, whatever your mic is, again, mine is FireWire, so my mic is here, but you could be using your internal mic or some type of uh, USB microphone, and you would assign that here, okay? So now we're going into uh, the MIDI audio uh, input uh, utility, which you go to Go, Utilities, and you will go to um, MIDI, I'm sorry, Audio and MIDI setup here. Um, it shows up here at the top for me or yours may just launch but mine was already open so we will go to uh, show audio and you would just want to make sure that your input and your outputs here are set up to the appropriate input which would be your microphone mine is firewire again and so is my output and that would be to whatever speakers you're using for your sound close that up so now we are ready to get into the actual program device and and uh, make sure that our inputs are set up here as well um, so you want to go into in an Adobe Audition you want to go into your preferences um, and make sure that your audio hardware is set up for one your input is set to sound flower 64 channel 64 and your output is set up to your um, your output device uh, where you're hearing your sound from Again, mine is uh, FireWire, but yours could be um, your built-in output or any other device that you use for output, sound output. Uh, hit OK. And let's make sure that we assign it in here. Now, you know, by default, both of these channels, uh, when you, I'm, I'm sorry, let me, let, me, let me step back just one step so that you can get here. You would, uh, in Audition, you would go in here to File, New, and then uh, multi-track sessions, because you want multiple tracks. And um, they normally come defaulted as your input is none on both on all your tracks and master for your output. So you're going to assign track one, which would be, this will be your Skype um, inputs here. So you will go to stereo, Soundflower stereo, uh, which is uh, 01 stereo, which encompasses both uh, channels 1 and 2. And if you notice down here, it goes, it doesn't go to 2, it goes to 3, which is 3 and 4. But you sign uh, 01S to this channel, and then you want to go to channel 2 and assign this to stereo uh, 03S, which is stereo 3, which encompasses both channels 3 and 4. Now, um, you also want to arm your tracks. Sorry for the airplane flying over. You want to arm your tracks here and here. And now on track two, you can see my volume, the volume meter is going up as uh, my volume is coming through there. And I think we are all set to bring in Skype now. So let's go ahead and bring up our Skype, which I have over here. And um, first of all, let's, let's hit record. Let's go. Oh, by the by the way, someone just came on here. Of course, great timing. And uh, we want to do a test call so that you can hear the Skype as opposed to calling someone and hearing them. You can do a test call. So you want to go to Echo in your search bar, Echo123, and you will get Skype test call here. So let me go ahead and hit record here. And you can see the levels here of me recording. And let's go ahead and do the test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. So now that uh, Skype is recording my voice for playback, 
and we'll be able to hear that in a minute. Quick minute. So now that uh, Skype is recording my voice for playback, and we'll be able to hear that in a okay. minute. Okay, looks like Skype has done his job in recording into the program. Let's double check. I'm going to stop the recording, and let's uh, rewind this, and let's hear it back. And you can see the levels here of me recording, and let's go ahead and do it to test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. So you can tell that it's recorded, uh, recorded quite nicely. Um, we were able to get our Skype on channel one and me on channel two. So there you have it, guys. That's how you record uh, separate channels of a Skype interview in Adobe Audition. I hope you liked it. Um, please uh, like me if you do like it and leave your comments below. All right, guys, take care.